For some time now, rumors have been kicking around about NVIDIA's monster of a GPU, at least their upcoming monster, the RTX 4090. Proposed specs have been absolutely all over the place, and it seems clear that the reality is that virtually no one knows anything about the card for sure. A couple of weeks ago, the YouTube channel Moore's Law is Dead, link below by the way, reached out to his own contacts and quoted sources from within NVIDIA as saying that NVIDIA will have the 5090 ready for quarter four of 2024, but also that NVIDIA is waiting to see what AMD brings to the market in relation to their own upcoming RDNA 4 graphics cards. The key quote to me was, quote, the RTX 4090 was cut down by more than 10%, so it's plausible we could make the 5090 feel like a similar uplift, that being from Ampere to Ada, if we felt threatened. And what I love about this quote is that it lets us, the consumers, have a peek behind the curtain. And it lets us see exactly what goes into the decisions made by NVIDIA, and in all reality, the decisions made by other huge tech companies as well. So here's the bad news with all of this. NVIDIA, at least seemingly, has no interest in blowing AMD out of the water completely with its upcoming flagship GPUs, which means we don't get the top possible card available for consumers. NVIDIA seems to be mostly interested in maintaining its performance crown, at least in popular workflows like gaming, while still keeping some performance behind closed doors for a future rainy day. Which again, they've done in the past, no surprise there. As a side note here, there seems to be some confidence on NVIDIA's part that they will be able to match pretty much anything AMD brings to the market. That's not surprising to see, it's just an observation. Now here's the good news. NVIDIA is getting close to shipping a new top-end gaming flagship GPU. Keep in mind, the RTX 4090 launched in October of 2022. By the time the 5090 is out, it'll likely have been at least two years in between the 4000 and 5000 series of cards. And if you're like me, someone that generally skips a GPU generation, it may be more like a four year gap between your current GPU and Nvidia's 5000 series. And that's not even diving into the fact that the flagship GPUs, generally speaking, launch well before the more affordable options for each generation. So here's the big takeaway from all of the speculation that's been happening and will continue to happen as well. We really don't know much of anything about the 5000 series from NVIDIA yet, and it sounds like NVIDIA itself doesn't even know what a finalized 5090 looks like. Though, of course, they have some idea. That being said, keep an eye on AMD this year if you're curious about what NVIDIA will bring to the market. Rumors have been floating around for a while now about AMD's upcoming RDNA 4 cards, which will likely be seen in the second half of 2024. And if the rumors from mid-2023 are accurate, AMD may not even have a high-end GPU in their RDNA 4 lineup. And if that's the case, look for NVIDIA to punt their 5090 launch all the way back into 2025, though probably early 2025, and possibly even nerf the card a little bit if AMD doesn't have a high-end competitor at all. But on the other hand, if AMD brings a monster to the market, you can bet that Nvidia will be able to reciprocate and they will likely do so as fast as possible. Now, of course, I wanna hear from all of you out there. What are some of the specs that you would like to see out of the 5000 series from Nvidia? And of course, let us know those thoughts in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see all of you in the next one.